I'm voting with my heart. USA, 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 all the way. Yeah, now to what could be a history-making weekend for the U.S. women's soccer team. And after rolling through the world's top competitors, the U.S. team is just one match away from the first World Cup championship since 1999. NBC's Ann Thompson is in Frankfurt, Germany, where Sunday's championship match will be heard, held. And it is a fabulous prospect. All eyes are on Frankfurt. I imagine there's a, a growing sense of excitement and also have you got a number of Americans arriving? Well, we are expecting a lot of Americans, Martin. 52,000 U.S. Uh, military personnel are stationed here in Germany. And I can tell you the military bases are very excited about the women's um, soccer team. But we also expect Americans to come across the pond, if you will, to support this team because certainly there's a lot of enthusiasm back home about this team. But the team is trying to block all that out at this point. They are trying to recover from uh, Wednesday's game against France they've had a really incredible week they have played two very dramatic games the Sunday game against Brazil in the quarterfinals where it went to penalty kicks and then um, Wednesday's game against France which came down to the last few minutes of the game before the US scored the go-ahead goal and then the insurance goal. they defeated France three to one so they're trying to get their strength back and their coach also has them focused on trying to get back into the attack mode they're going to pay play a very skilled Japan team. It's a smaller team physically, but it handles the ball very, very well, and it's going to be quite a challenge on Sunday. I Martin. imagine, though, the American team, because they're that much bigger, are going to hoof balls into the penalty area and score with some more fabulous headers that we've seen that have been scored so far. <laughs> Yeah, Abby Wambach, nobody does it like her. I mean, the two, she has scored two crucial goals with her head in the last two games. And it, talking to people who follow the sport, I'm just, I am the most absolute casual fan there is. But I tell you what, uh, and you're doing brilliantly at giving me such a fan, fabulous exposition. <laughs> you're no casual fan anymore. You're getting into this. <laughs> I, yeah, I think it's it's like the Olympics. We're all going to learn, you know, know soccer really well for five days. But but talking to the reporters who follow this team, what they say is, look, the Americans have size, and what the Americans have is heart and this never say die attitude, and that's what has gotten them through the game against Brazil and the game against France. Okay, Anne. Well, now what that Japan you're now that you're a skill. newly now that you're a newly accomplished <laughs> expert in this field, what is your prediction for the game? Come on, let's hear it. Oh, you know. Now, Martin, I'm voting with my heart. USA, 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 all the way. Yeah, but what's the score going to be? Uh, uh, um, three to two. <laughs> three USA. two. Okay, I'm saying the USA. Three two. Uh, three two. Okay, I'm saying USA two nil. 2-0, Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. What are we betting? <laughs> A bottle A of champagne. All right, even better. <laughs> Absolutely. NBC's Ann Thompson on assignment there in Frankfurt. Thanks so much for joining us. Take and we'll, care, Mark. And we'll be right back.